And I want to play a clip of a woman who claims she works in human resources. And she is talking about when you want to get a job and the kind of name that you have. And she believes she is giving out some advice. Listen to this. Tips from the HR department, hood names and resumes. Listen, are we judging you? Yes, we are. I'm just trying to keep it real. When we see a name that's, um, I don't know, hard to pronounce or has a la, ka, and equa on it, we are judging you by your name first. But let your experience speak for you. Now, let me say this. If you have a middle name that um, may be less hood, do your initial, your middle name, and your last name, okay? It will get you in the door, and then you get in there and code switch your ass off, get that job, and be the boss that you are. Follow me for more tips. What are your thoughts on this? 866-801-8255, 866-801-8255. This is a black woman, claims she works in HR, and she is giving advice about quote-unquote hood names. Alvin Orr, what are your thoughts on this? So there's always an ounce of truth in everything. And there's a little bit of, I mean, from my experience at a large law firm, that there were problems that you have to overcome. But, you know, because I work in immigration, you don't see the same consternation with foreign names that can be just as complex. So as we think about Rafael Cruz um, slash Ted Cruz, these things become real, real situations. And when you look at the names of all the top, in, the names that are used at all the top companies, John and David and Mark and Matt, um, you know, what she says about getting in the door is still true today while it shouldn't be. You know, I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's offensive. And I hope when she's in those spaces and she's, and she's judging, I hope that she is uh, making the right decision. I hope she isn't upholding white supremacy. Here's the first thing. What is a hood name? What is a hood name? Is Tyrone, is that a hood name? Which I believe is an is a Irish name. Is Lamar a hood name? When we have a white man, who, I be, who Lamar Alexander, who is, who is in Congress right now? Are we saying, uh, is Abdul a hood name, which is a Muslim name? But a lot of folks associate that with, you know, being a hood, Rashida. What exactly is a quote unquote hood name? Do you mean Shaniqua? Do you mean Keisha? Do you, do, like, wh wh what is it? And if that's going to be, if that's some kind of barometer, again, I want to hear from y'all, 866-801-8255, what does that really say? Because there are names that are not hard to pronounce, and they're considered hood names. If folks see a name like Wanda Jackson, is that a hood name? What exactly does that mean? And if that's the barriers that you're starting with from the door, then no wonder you know, folks, folks try and say, oh, the reason why, uh, you know, b black unemployment is so high is because, of, is because of immigrants. No, it's because of wage and job discrimination. That's what it's, be and if, if right there when you submit a resume, should you be lying about your name, putting one initial here, one initial there? I mean, what does that mean? And what can you do with your name? And there's no legal your, repercussion for that because you're not going to know what happened. You're never going right. to know Right. It's your, it's your actual name. So for me, I was a little bit, I was disturbed to see her give her, give this kind of advice. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she is giving some kind of kernel of truth. But I, I, would, I would have rather seen her do a video saying, yo, here's what goes down in HR and here's what I do about it. She almost sounded proud. She almost sounded like she was okay with, with, uh, with, the, the, the way that it was, or I, I, maybe not okay, but she almost sounded like, hey, I'm one of the gatekeepers, and here's, and here's what I'm doing, and you should do it this way. I would say every time you see that happen, maybe you should report it. Maybe you should tell some. Maybe you should put that on social media. Hey, I hear somebody, a, a colleague of mine, who didn't hire somebody because they had a quote-unquote hood name. And of course, folks look, but again, what 
is a hood name. Is Lamar a hood name when Lamar Alexander is a part of Congress and he's white? Is Tyrone a hood name? What is hood? Uh, let's rock some calls here. 866-801-8255. 866-801-8255. Uh, let's go to uh, Tosca from Ohio, first-time caller. Yeah! Hi. Hey, Tosca. How are you? I'm, I'm actually not a first-time caller, but I love when you do that for first-time callers. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. Um, I am calling because... I actually, it's interesting that you're talking about this today. Several years ago, when I was in graduate school, I did a paper on this very thing for my business ethics class. Hmm. And the class, the paper was called What's in a Name? Now, as an African-American woman, I have noticed that people do get looked at strangely when their names is considered quote unquote ethnic. Now, I agree with you. What is the ethnic name? But what I've noticed is in my 20 plus years of working in professional life, names like Shaquan, Aquanetta, those are the names that people look strangely at, not uh, names like Abdul or Raul or anything like that. What, what about so, Tyrone? What about Tyrone? Tyrone, I don't look at that as a quote unquote ethnic name because you're right. There are white people named Tyrone. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. Could be, Tyrone could be a family name. So I think that there is some truth to that, but I laugh because people don't know whether I'm African-American or white when they see my name. Mm -hmm. So there is truth to that. The only thing is my name, my parents are opera lovers and that's how I got my name. So you do have to be careful in what, in what you're looking at and you should not assume anything, but people do all the time. So the woman I don't think she was trying to be rude, but people may want to take stock in what she's saying. But, you know, but, you know, here's the thing for me. I I feel like it's less about a hood name and is can they tell you're black from your resume? That's what I believe that it is. And I I mean, but maybe, you know, you did a paper on this. You, You could be right around this, Tosca. But for me, I do think that if any name comes across black, not necessarily hood, then they might think, okay, I'm not going to hire this person. I don't think it's about hood. I think it's about black. Now, they don't mind an Italian name. They may not mind, you know, uh, you know, a German name or a Swedish name. Lord knows I can't pronounce that. They might be okay with that. But I think it's more so, is it black? Now, there is a known narrative. There are some folks out there who say that um, some Asian folks might change their name because they feel like it's too, it's too hard to pronounce. If it were me, I'd be like, pronounce my hard-ass name. I don't care. But I don't know. I think it's more of a black thing and less of a hood thing. And I know folks want to always put um, hood and black in the same category. But I think if they see – I could be wrong, but I think if they see Tyrone Jackson and they see Shaniqua Edwards, I think they're both going to get the same kind of treatment. That's what I believe. So I think it's more about race than anything. I don't know. Final comment. Go ahead, Tosca. You may, you have a point. I think it can be a little bit of both. But like, for example, a gentleman that I work with, he's uh, from Africa. His name is Damapur. But he gets so tired of having to correct people. He just has everybody call, we just call him by his first name. And I'm with you. I think you should be made to say my name, learn my name. Mm -hmm. I think that's important, and it's just respectful to learn my name, whether it's Shaquan, Aquanetta, or Tosca, learn my name. But I think that because we are so bogged down with the lines are blurred between what is ethnic, what is black, what is racist, that people don't know how to separate the two anymore, and I think that's the problem. And, and yeah, absolutely. I I totally agree with that. I completely agree with that. And I just, I I don't know. Go ahead. I think the issue may be a little bit of this epigenetic thing about class that you talk about all the time that someone who might have a name of the or Deshaun may speak to someone who's reviewing their resume that they're from a certain background not just black but black in a different type of way um a distinguishable class sort of argument when I sort of think about it because you know at the time that I was in law school at Howard 
they were telling women to not to use your initial not your name so that they'll look at your experience before dismissing you for being a woman under the assumption that you're just going to have a kid so i feel like these conversations they were telling are telling black women that at howard women in general yeah that you should just use your initial at the time you're interviewing because people feel like at how you, you, i'm sorry you said at howard law school they were saying this yeah there were people who were saying yeah you shouldn't tell them that you're a woman disguise that you're a woman it is assigned to you at birth. You don't get to choose your name. You get to choose your nickname, if what people do sometimes. But I, I, I am understanding your, your conversation. But it's in a racist society, do you want them to look at your experience? Because that's generally the, pro the issue. If they look at your experience, then they're going to get past everything. I mean, you know, I thought Rashida becoming the head of MSNBC was a big thing because I don't know that many Rashidas at that level doing stuff like that when you think about prominent names of people actually in business or society they're always mary ann elizabeth sue and you know i guess it just pisses me off because even some of these names that we call uh hood names they do have they do have some origins to it you know what i'm saying uh they have origins too and it's not just people and if you want to make up a name and just change the vowels up that's fine too but when you see italians do that uh, when you see again, Germans do that it doesn't have the same kind of uh, doesn't have the the same kind of shame to it. I guess you know uh, Tony is a considered a hood. Antonio, you know, is a considered a a, a hood. I just it's just uh, it's just frustrating to me. And there are plenty of uh, you know, I guess Olga, I guess what is this Olga a Russian name that is a cons that isn't threatening. And we it's just stone cold racism. So just 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 call it what it is. Call it what it is. If someone was named Olga today, you would think that they were an older person, right? It's like someone would think that. You would think older. Absolutely. I would, I, absolutely. So I just think that sometimes, uh, I don't know. I just feel like maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like you, uh, you, you got to really think twice about the code switching on, on a resume. If they're not going to let you in, they're not going to let you in. I don't know. Right. Uh, let's so, see. So Clay, Clay, part of this conversation as you go forward is it's not exactly about the people who are on the other end. It's just about the HR professional. If the HR yeah. professional is the doorway to someone getting the company who the other people in the company don't care, they just need a worker, it's, it's a different conversation. So the, the person could be racist, like the HR police cop from New York City, but the actual people who are doing the job could care less. They just want a good worker. Possibly. Possibly. I don't know if there's one a good worker. Possibly. If that's the culture of the place, uh, this may all be. But m my question is, if you're black in HR, what are you doing? Are you fighting for that quote unquote perceived hood name? Or are you like, ah, uh, why they put the name on that resume? They ain't that bright. You know what I mean? I guess for me, uh, it just outrages me because not changing this insidious ridiculous system is the reason why those hr people are employed i mean i just i'm sorry i personally i think a name like jane no no shade to the janes out there i think jane is a boring as hell name i don't i don't, I don't whatever i just don't think it's an interesting name i think uh Devante is sexy as hell name what, what what do i know like i just i don't know and it really is about it's classism. It's classism in names. It's, it's insane. So what, what are we telling our, we're telling people, I, I guess it's the reality, but damn, from birth, better think what you name your kids. And I, and I struggle with, and I, this may be too deep of an analogy, but no matter how respectable you are, no matter how polished you are, you know, we had black men serving in World War II being lynched in their uniforms. We have black men being gunned down on Facebook Live who are teachers, unarmed, or saying that I have a, 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 saying, hey, by the way, I have a weapon in the glove compartment. Like, I don't know if we all had these quote unquote safe names. I don't know if that would make a difference. I just don't know. There's just so many moving pieces and moving parts to white supremacy. It's just, I don't know. I, my, my spirit just can't say, yeah, this is real. If your name is LaShawn, LaShawn Jackson, go by Sean Jackson. I, I, just, I just don't know. I, that doesn't sit well with me. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just not what I, I stand for and I believe in. And it really angers me. And if you change that name to, 
to, to Deshaun Jackson, once they see you, are you going to get paid fairly? Are you going to have an equal wage? Are you ever going to get a promotion? Are you ever going to, you know, it just shows sometimes us getting at the table. Getting at the table doesn't always mean that much sometimes. And if, damn it, if you get at that table, if you do, please do not perpetuate white supremacy. Let's go to uh, JT from Pennsylvania. What's up, JT? Clay Kane, peace and blessings, my brother. Thank you. What's up, sir? I have to say this. I was very intentional about what I named my children, too. Only I didn't go the route that, you know, that some of these other callers did. My children have very ethnic names, and my, thing, my position has always been, you know, not, dis- not dismissing any of the uh, uh, points that have been made, but my thing has just been simply, I refuse to live in that kind of fear, mm. you know? And that, you know, by giving my, ch- by giving my children uh, quote-unquote ethnic names, if you will, you know what I mean? Hopefully, you know what I mean? They, that's part of, been part of my, uh, my goal to teach them not to live in that fear as well. Mm. Okay? I, you know, one, another thing is that I think if more and more of us actually did it, rather than, and don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking anybody for being, you know, deliberate about naming their children, you know, quote-unquote Anglo names, if you will. Um, but I think if less and less of us did, at some point, you know what I mean, that's gonna build that's gonna build things to critical mass and help this whole help that whole cor- that whole corrupt part of the system come crashing down. I agree. If if we if we go away from assimilating, maybe these things <laughs> wouldn't exist the way that they do. I completely agree with that, and I understand why folks don't want to do that's not for everybody. I understand why folks don't want to do that, but go on the way of. If we assimilate, they're going to treat us better. But are they treating us better? Is there a difference? Are we really getting in the door? Because you can assimilate your name if you want to. You can try and de-ethnicize your name if you want to. But you can't change the way that you look. 